Hey guys, it's Phil here. I've made a list of the top five actions that you can take if you're currently going through a period of your life with chronic pain, anxiety and stress. I've been through a number of these phases personally where my mental health wasn't the greatest, overcome them, they made me a lot stronger and certainly were a huge inspiration for me to become a coach and help others out. So the first action that you can take if you're currently struggling with your mental health and you're feeling that chronic fear, call it out. Have an honest conversation with somebody that's going to actually listen to you, really understand you and be supportive. Getting those emotions off your chest will make you feel a lot lighter, less heavy baggage, more free. You've probably heard the phrase that a problem shared is a problem halved. Talking about your pain, your anxiety, opening up and getting it out there makes you feel empowered, stronger and more able to move forwards and make progress in your life. If you don't have anybody to talk to or you want to talk to a professional, I offer a free first life coaching session. You're welcome to email me if you want to take advantage of this. The second um, item I've wrote down on my list or the second action I've wrote down is to do a challenging cardio session. It could be going for a run, getting that run as high. It might be riding a bike. Whatever your preferred form of cardio is, pushing yourself in your workout, overcoming that inner resistance, and you'll feel so much better afterwards. Motivation follows action taken. And when you beat that resistance to exercising, when you don't feel like it, but you push yourself to do it anyway, you come away feeling inspired, motivated and stronger. So cardio is great if ever you feel triggered or if ever you're going through a challenging period of your life. It builds that mental and emotional resilience as well. Something that I teach to all of my clients because it's so important. The third action that you can take is to do some shadow work meditations. If you don't know what these are, you can search them on Google, YouTube. They're guided meditations which give you the space to process challenging emotions. To listen to your body, Allow yourself to, to connect to you. Be more present in the moment. And you can process things from your past as well. Things which you wasn't able to process some time ago, you can process them now and let go of them. So shadow work is definitely a go-to tool if I'm going through a challenging period in my life, it definitely helps me out. The fourth action that you can take is to commit to taking action and making progress in your life. Challenging phases, they always pass. They're never permanent. So you might as well use the opportunity to move forwards in life. Why not make progress? Whatever your ultimate 
purpose and vision is in life, take action on that. Whether it's in your career, your health and fitness, confidence, social circle, travelling, whatever your personal goals are, take action so you're making progress. You will overcome this challenge that you're currently facing. The tides always turn eventually. And you'll thank yourself later on for making progress. And also just the act of consistently making progress and taking action makes you feel a lot better anyway. As Tony Robbins says, don't focus on your fears. Focus on what you need to do to get there, to achieve your goals. The fifth action on this list is to get around people, enjoy yourself and help others out. When you start socialising with people, letting go and having fun, and you help others out, you learn to take your problems less seriously and put them into perspective. Life's a lot bigger than your problems and your ego. And helping other people out reminds you of this and reconnects you so you're not living life from that stressed out place where you're in a rush, forcing it, being desperate, living in fear. Instead, you reconnect to being yourself, being patient, moving forward at the pace that's right for you. And just getting around people and being active in this way, having that connection really does help out. So these are my go-to ways of dealing with a challenging phase in my life and I teach these, to my, teach these to my clients as well because they always work. If you enjoyed this video and you're potentially looking to be coached, you're interested in trying out a live coaching session, I offer the first session free of charge. Just email me and let me know what area of life you're looking to grow in and I'll get back to you with possible dates for the free one-to-one -one session which will take place via a video call. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit like, leave a comment below. If you want to get notified, when I release more content and do my live streams, subscribe to my channel. Hope that you got value from this video and I also hope that you enjoy the rest of your day.